How's it going guys? Welcome to a video on the MPD group. We're going to be going over the sales for the best selling games and best selling hardware in the United States for the month of 2022. Um, also want to note that sales refer to shipments to retail or well, or, excuse stock keeping units, you know, so retail or online stores, whatever, not necessarily in consumer hands. Anyway, so let's get started right here. We have Xbox Series consoles were the best-selling hardware platform of both March 2022 as well as the first quarter in dollar sales, for, so the first quarter of 2022, while the Switch led both times um, periods in unit sales. So that that's actually pretty good. Um, the Xbox Series X and S were the best-selling uh, console of March 2022. Next, I want to go over the best-selling games for each platform out of Nintendo, PlayStation, and Xbox. They're mostly going to be the Switch, PS5, and Xbox Series X and Series S, but there might be some Xbox One, PS4, and Wii U titles thrown in there. So let's uh, go with uh, start with Nintendo because that's the first. Uh, that's what's showing up first on this list. You have uh, best-selling game. I'm just going to say them all in order. So first, we have Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Now, let's say the remainder. Pokemon Legends Arceus, Mario Kart 8, which would also include Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Triangle Strategy, Mario Party Superstars, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Animal Crossing New Horizons, Super Mario 3D World, Rune Factory 5, and finally, we have New Super Mario Bros. U, which would also include New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe on the Nintendo Switch, not just the Wii U. Most of these are probably the Switch, if not all of them. There might be maybe a couple hundred copies that weren't um, for those that are still being tracked. So all these games are actually published by Nintendo with the exception of Rune Factory 5. Now, uh, one thing I do want to notice, I, I didn't notice this until like just 15 seconds ago. It says New Super Mario Brothers. I'm assuming it means New Super Mario Brothers U as well as New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe. Uh, so it looks like it says the title, a typo. Unless they're referring to all the new Super Mario Brothers games, but I think it's referring to the Wii U and Nintendo Switch title. So, we're going to go over PlayStation next. Mostly PlayStation 5, but there's going to be some PS4 games. Some, A lot of these are on PS4, I should say. So, um, they're com combining them all with the PS4, PS5, and then obviously the digital edition. Um, yeah, so first... Best-selling game on that console was Elden Ring. Now, I believe that was only on the PS5, not PS4, out of PlayStation consoles. So, Elden Ring, say the rest in order. Gran Turismo 7, MLB The Show 22, Horizon 2 Forbidden West, WWE 2K22, which I will never play that because I don't care about it, Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin, Call of Duty Vanguard, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, Marvel Spider-Man Mar Miles Morales, and last, Ghostwire Tokyo, which I'm really wanting to get. Yes, that is Microsoft and I believe Bethesda. I could be wrong, but pretty sure it's Bethesda. And then obviously we have Microsoft as the publisher. That is a PlayStation timed exclusive, but it will be eventually making its way onto PC and Xbox. I don't know if it'll come to, um, to Switch. Probably not, but who knows? Maybe it will. I feel like it'll come to PC and Xbox first, though. Finally, we have uh, Xbox, so... Mostly the Xbox Series X and Series S, unless otherwise noted. So some of the games are not going to include digital sales. But most of them will. So most of this is going to be Xbox Series, um, but some of them might also be on Xbox One. So start off, Elden Ring was in first place, just like on PlayStation. Then we have Call of Duty Vanguard, WWE 2K22, Tiny Tina's Wonderland, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the 2019 remake, Forza Horizon 5, Madden NFL 22, and then FIFA 22. So that's really all I got for you guys today. Um, I would recommend heading over to Matt Piscatella on Twitter, as well as the MPD Group's website. Um, yeah, Matt would definitely go more into detail um, than I am, so... Especially if I made some mistakes, I'm sure I probably have, and I'm just not thinking. 
of any right now, but you know. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. What was your favorite game? Have, have you bought? Have you bought? Have you bought any of the games on this list? Let me know what you guys think. Without further ado, I've been your host. I will see you guys later.